The Panthers Poundcast is for entertainment purposes only. The opinions expressed on the show are solely those of the presenters and in no way reflect the views of the Panthers organization. Listener discretion is advised. You got it. Pantera here with Splinter, aka Alex Holmes. Hello, and this guy over here, so anxious to talk to you, Panther Nation, Jamaicus Plow. What it is? <laughs> delay. Happy, like that? Delay of game. Delay of podcast. Happy Easter, everybody. I hope that you're having fun. We're sitting here in the studio recording this Poundcast for you. Hell yeah. Let's hit right up with the news. Trenton Robinson is a brand new Carolina Panther. Safety position picked up for one year. From what team? Los Panteras? That's a good question. Let's go to Splinter for that. Uh, he's a former Washington Redskin. Uh, he has a little bit of starting experience, but not too much. He was making about half a million dollars last year. Uh, the numbers haven't readily been available so far on this deal, but we know that it is a one-year deal. And I mean, Gettleman's have a Gettleman has had a history of finding these one-year deal kind of guys, especially at the safety position. It'd probably be a backup and special teamer, but we need depth. So we but not? we said depth the same thing about Kirk Coleman. We said that he would be a backup and a special teamer. Gettleman so, has this touch where he finds these players that are playing for something. They're they're squandering on some other team. Even look Greg Olson uh, for the first couple of years in Chicago wasn't doing anything, didn't fit into their scheme. And then he comes over here to Carolina, and now he's a legend. Right, but even legend. think about just he at is. the safety position with David Gettleman, uh, you have Quentin Michael, you have uh, Mitchell, you mm-hmm. have uh, Kirk Coleman, it, it's Roman Harper. Uh, Roman Harper. Yeah. He has been really good about finding value at the safety position. Right. We'll look forward to uh, seeing what he brings to us. Welcome to Carolina. I know you're happy to be here other than that shithole Washington. Ow. <laughs> Without a doubt. How you like that, Kirk Cousins? Um, well, we picked up Stars fifth year, so he's going to be around for another year at least. Right. And we got him through 2017, so that's good. Beasting up the uh, the line with KK. Uh, it's going to be nice to see him hopefully here for a long term. We'll Absolutely. definitely get him long term. I have no doubt. Yeah. It, I think we're going to be seeing him eating up blocks for a long time. Uh, he's a priority for Gettleman, too, for sure. Right. I'd say he's he's got to be right up there with KK. Welcome back, Star. Uh, Boykin, we have a different Boykin situation. We had one Boykin situation last year, uh, potentially coming to Carolina. Which Boykin was that? I get my Boykin. That was confused. Jarrett Boykin last Jarrett year. Boykin. At the Green Wilders. Bay. Right. Right, right. So now we have a new Boykin. Boykin number two. Brandon Boykin. Boykin. Brandon Boykin. Yeah. Look at you. Cornerback. Nickelback. Bad band. Good position. Nice. We need one of those. Yep. And, uh, this is... The first of four scheduled visits for him, so we'll see if he's able to leave Carolina without a deal. Right. Now, was he getting four visits, really? Uh, yeah. He says that he has, or his agent says that he has four scheduled visits. He only right played now. one year in Pittsburgh. He's ready to get the hell out of that shithole as well. So. Yeah, how old is he? Uh, I have to go back. <laughs> we're talking about we're like, yeah. you know, it, it, first few years in the league. It would right. be a good signing, I think. Um, well, you, youth and, like you said, again, depth in that um, secondary. Absolutely. Um, Gettleman's a genius, apparently. I mean, look, we've been in the playoffs three years in a row now, three seasons in a row. And uh, we kept getting better, kept improving, made it all the way to the big game this year. Um, Gettleman finally gets a little credit. Uh, executive of the year. Absolutely. Awarded by who, Mr. Les Pandora? By Roger Goodell. No way. And Martha Stewart. No, I don't know who. Uh, the Sporting News. Oh, and no shit. Mostly Martha Stewart. Mostly, and mostly Martha Stewart, yeah. Uh, she, she cares. So you have to expect this, especially with a team that, what, five years ago went 2-14, and, 14, and yeah. now we just went to a Super Bowl. 
and we've gotten better every season. So, and Dave Gettleman's been a huge part of that. If we had Jimmy Clausen in the Super Bowl, we would have won. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, I don't want to ever live in that sort of universe. You don't have to ever worry about it occurring. No, on the Cam field. is such a so ridiculous improvement. If you look at like you know the balance of, of things, where Jimmy Clausen's one end of the spectrum, and then Cam Newton's on the other. Like, every other quarterback in the history of the NFL would fit in between that spectrum. But people constantly want to criticize Cam still. Which is nothing new this week. Absolutely. He's uh, he's constantly criticized. I saw one post earlier months. this week. Two months later, yeah, I saw somebody post, uh, Jimmy Clausen would have jumped on the ball. Wow. Good God. Well, Rivera and Cam were also getting hit pretty hard in the media this week as well. Yeah, Rivera was uh, standing up to Cam for almost 20 minutes of the press. Standing up for Cam. Standing up, yeah, standing up for Cam, of course, as a regular <laughs> coach. And he made some good points. And, and I gotta be being called an enabler for Cam's horrible, uh, right, childish behavior and if, sore losing. If I remember correctly, when I was a kid, especially after watching, like, say, the World Series, 32 years ago. they would only interview the head coach. I used to, like, feel bad for the people. I mean, initially when you're a kid, you're like, ha-ha, it's funny, but then you start feeling bad after a while with this losing. They never interviewed losing teams uh, or players, rather. They interviewed the manager or the coach. And Rivera should have fielded that question and, and left it alone. I think he's got a point there. I'm not but maybe I'm just being partial. It's it's whatever. You know, you have you have basketball college coaches criticizing it now, saying we we toughen our kids up, blah, blah, blah. Then you got the baseball guys, like we mentioned last week, complaining we don't want a bunch of cam dudes. It's just whatever. Fuck it. I hate losing too a lot. We'll put it to the other yeah. extreme. How would you feel if the same game happened, The same we watched the same Super Bowl, and then Cam comes to the podium and is all happy and smiles, and it's like, it's okay. It's okay, guys. We'll, we'll, be, back, uh, we'll be back next year. It's fine. Don't it. worry. It just proved how much it's rigged even more. That's all that was. <laughs> oh, God, the conspiracy it, of Jamaica. Because <laughs> it's true. But, but seriously, it, we would be crucifying him that uh, for that too, he's always going to be held to a certain standard. Cam Newton's not going to change who he is. He's made that glaringly apparent. But that's fine. I love it because he's my quarterback. I'd probably be Greek pissed off ass. if he was somebody else's quarterback. Hey, oh, yeah, it, he yeah. is your quarterback. But yeah. remember, more than that, he is your MVP quarterback, and he's an icon and exactly. An entertainer. Exactly. On that note, let's go ahead and take a break. We'll be right back. We got tons of rule changes to talk. about. Hey, this is Alex Helms from the Panthers Poundcast here with Los Pantera. The Goon. And Jamaica's Plow. 333. Uh, be sure to check us out on our brand new designed website, PanthersPoundcast.wordpress.com. It's awesome. Splinter did it himself, and there's pictures, and it looks so professional, and I'm so fucking proud of this guy. Me too. We'll say it again. How do you get there? PanthersPoundcast.wordpress.com. PanthersPoundcast.wordpress.com. You sound like a shitty insurance commercial. <laughs> like a shitty lawyer commercial. PanthersPoundcast.wordpress.com. 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 Welcome back to the Poundcast, Panthers Poundcast, Los Pantera, Jamaica's Plow, Master Splinter. Yeah, Master Splinter. Did you see the uh, Batman Superman movie? <laughs> yeah, I did. It sucked ass. I haven't seen it yet, so I want to have a conversation very briefly, but not spoil anything. Don't spoil your What, what movie is worse than Batman versus Superman? Let's just do that. Oh, for me, there are tons of movies worse. Than yeah, 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 okay. I agree. It's not the worst. Good. Movie so I've tell me saw. what your the one right below would be, and then I give me a good grade on what to expect when I see it this Friday at the drive-in. It was slightly less boring than Captain America. 
Okay. The, the first Captain America or Winter Soldier? Winter Actually. Soldier was so good. Okay, maybe that's the one I just didn't even watch because I hated the first one so much. Oh, no, Winter Soldier is the best PG-13 yeah. movie ever We made. have to just let people know that Mike just hates comic book movies. That's in not general. true. You because, know what well, I don't hate no, here, here it is. And Deadpool. And the Ant-Man. reason that he hates Ant-Man most comic good. book movies is because hates Mike hates any movie that's over two hours. No, I hate things that have no fucking reason, but just, just it's just shenanigans. Just on and on. Yap, 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 yap. Who gives a shit? Show action, it, like Transformers whipping it's ass. Just a, it's a product of this fucking lazy society we live in today. All these people just want to be seen for things that go boom in the night and stuff. It's yeah. retarded. Well, it is retarded. So why wouldn't you want something that has, you know, Some lines substance. and dialogue? Some yeah, substance. Substance. Really? you got to see Winter Soldier. So I, I would rather... Uh, you were asking what the next movie yeah, right down. below, right, right below on their, their your list of suck. Uh, I would rather watch this movie than episode one of Star Wars. Oh, Batman and Superman is better than episode one of Star Wars. Absolutely. What is episode one okay, of Star good. Wars? Phantom Menace. Is that the new one? That's yeah. Jar Jar Binks. That's a little Anakin Skywalker. I that's watch that. Oh, yeah, no. Shit. Trust me. Whatever. You ain't missing shit in but, that. But that's, okay. but that's saying something because I kind of like episode one. I, right. I, 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 I like that. the pod racing scene. And yeah. So, yeah. I, I'd say that it was okay, not great. Uh I'm still looking forward to the Batman movies, but this is a Panthers pound say, cast. Sorry for all you non-nerds <laughs> so, out there like myself yeah. about that. All right, well, let's talk about the rule changes then. The rule changes uh, this year, we got a few new ones. Uh, we got one from last season, Stang. Uh, the first uh, rule change we have written down here is the uh, 25-yard touchback. So you kick it into the end zone, you take a knee, you don't run anywhere, you go ahead and get the ball to 25 40 yards away from a good offense marching down there and at least being in field goal range. Yep, right. That's a play and a half these days. It's just... Especially for number one offense, the Carolina Panthers. (laughs) Right. You have to imagine that this is just the NFL continuing their attack on the kicking game. Um, And fun. Yeah. You're you're going to see less and less of the returns because... Realistically, if you get it into the end zone, what are the odds that if you take it out of the end zone, you're going to get to the 25 yard line? Three and a half percent. Yeah, it, it's hardly ever. It's it's a couple teams guess. have the capabilities and runners that can do that. Right, but it's it's Sometimes. not a chance that you're going to want to take. Right, right. So this is just the NFL trying to remove this play from the game, and I don't know why they just don't do it. Right. They keep taking these steps that just make it uninteresting but and there's boring. still another commercial break for all that revenue that runs all the rigging. <laughs> <laughs> the that's conspiracy. true. That's true. That's all there, it is. is there is an extra, is commercial, an extra break. commercial break. Every kick. Absolutely. Shenanigans. Vince McMahon runs the NFL. You heard that's it here first. That's not true. It's all, I can't say who. I'm not allowed to say those words. We'll talk about it in the rumor section. No, we won't. All right, so the kicking game is pretty much going obsolete in front of our very eyes. Yep. Uh, horse collars, which uh, it's always fun to this watch is those a bullshit <laughs> rule. As was said, and now anything above the nameplate is going to be considered, even, even if it's just jersey. Yeah. If you grab the nameplate on the back of somebody's jersey now, it's a horse collar. But you can ever still, see that, though. Can't you, you see it all by the, the shoulder? You can still it's grab all the, the shoulder. Time. No, it's all, it happens a lot, man. Yeah. And you'd see people grab under the jersey, which was legal as well. You're right. just not allowed to grab under the shoulder pads. Right. But NFL, this no is fun ridiculous. League. It's no absolutely fun ridiculous. It is terrible. It's, and then uh, bye-bye goes the chop block all the way. Not even on running plays is it allowed anymore. For those of you who don't know, Carlos just did research, and he wants to tell you about a chop block. A chop block is a block that occurs between uh, below the knee and above the knee at the exact same time. Uh, so it would take two defenders. Yes. So it no is also block. called a high low block. Ah, or a high low high block. block. No one knows for sure. So there's actually none of these blocks available. What happens? Is there a penalty? I don't know. Do yeah, there research? will be now. Is it five yards lost it down? Do we even know? Who knows? It's going to be something. You can't fucking do it, so it's a penalty of some sort. Yeah. Splinter, what's this timeout thing? If you call timeout when you're not allowed to, oh, yeah. it's a delay of game penalty now. That, uh, that's true. Uh, if you... Call a timeout, and you don't have any timeouts left. You will get a delay of game penalty. So that's, well, why a, that's you, that new one. If you don't have any timeouts left, you're just doing it to be like a Belichick? Or, well, or you some people just are just stupid. Mistake, yeah. 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 You're, you're getting penalized <laughs> for being an asshole, basically. Right, either way. Or slash idiot. 
for not uh, yeah, for absolutely. not taking the two seconds that it takes to look up at the scoreboard and see how many timeouts you or, have, or not be able to count to three and remember it. Right. <laughs> I'm or hey, yeah, one of your many coaches that are standing around to remind you to tell you. Um, so that's I'm all right with that. I'm okay with that rule change. Not okay with the horse collar. Twenty five yard touchback, retarded. Lame. Uh, chop block. Times are changing. Uh, two personal foul rule um, for unnecessary roughness will get you ejected. Like soccer, I guess. You get a yellow card for the first one and then a red card for the second one. Right. But didn't you um, say it only happened once last year under these guidelines? So what yeah. did you do? It only happened uh, one time. The whole Odell Beckham case um, never would even fall under this rule change. So, uh, yeah, Brian Arakbo was the only player last year to commit two personal fouls in a single game for unnecessary roughness. And they're saying that this rule might set up instances where, say, Josh Norman – goes out and gets a personal foul for unnecessary roughness. Right. Well, what's to stop the other team from putting in a unimportant wide receiver, your fourth, fifth string wide receiver, mm-hmm. and just start instigating with right. Josh Norman, trying to get him removed from the game? Right, exactly. I mean, it does kind of set up a possibility for the misuse of the rule. Uh, that, yeah. Uh, I agree. Maybe they saw the numbers uh, from the Odell Beckham Josh Norman game and had the entire world watching, and realizes that there's some revenue in that. Maybe they want to change the game that direction. Conspiracy theorist Jamaicus. Oh, yeah, I read one article. Someone was talking about they fear a goon scenario occurring because of this rule, like you're saying. Right. You know, what so is this? Like a hockey thing? It is a hockey thing. It's it's the guy who goes and starts shit just cause and then fights. Are you seriously? That's yeah. a position. Yeah, they're not any good at hockey. They just beat ass. <laughs> right, right. They're tooth knocker out. Donald Brashear is a goon. There's yeah, a movie a called Goon. It's awesome. You should check it out. Oh well, it's got Sean William Scott in it. Oh no free, shit! Free po- Isn't free that promo, a Sean? It's a good fucking movie, dude. What's it called? Goon. Goon. It's called Goon. Nice. So Odell Beckham's a goon. No, he's a fuckface. <laughs> yeah, he's just an asshole. Is what he is with a stupid haircut. goon fuckface asshole. He's a stupid fuck. He was he was instigating old Normie on Twitter again this week. Yeah, he let it and he can't fucking spell. He's a retard. He's a, just fuck him. <laughs> Anyways. Fuck sorry. you, Odell. My bad. Fuck you. Pretty much. I hate your fucking hair, you ass. <laughs> you suck. At least change the color every now and your then. Your name fucking sucks. I just hate you. It sucks twice because there's another Odell. I wish someone there. Would, would Twitter this to him or whatever. You know? Yeah. I don't know how to do that shit. Panthers Poundcast, not fans. We have the... Um, Extra point is sticking around. Um, you remember the extra point scenario where if you get yeah. the... Um, <laughs> it happens when you score a touchdown. <laughs> and then you but kick you an extra miss point. miss your extra point and the other team recovers and they can run it back for... Like the Saints did first time in all Is time. it one point or three points? It's two. Oh, it's two, two points. Two right, two right, points. right, right, right. Okay. Like you the always had it. You were one I was right there, down. man. I, damn it. Damn it, right when, there. When, when, English isn't your first language, so that's pretty good. Yeah, it's muy bueno. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back uh, to uh, our ads, and then we'll come back to our show. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fuck this cut. Los Pantera. We already did that part, asshole. Well, you said, say my name when you pointed me. <laughs> we already recorded we did that. that one. <laughs> what are we doing now? <laughs> I don't know why. I it's hear. not a rumor. You're fired. <laughs> oh, man. I, they tried me out as a host this week. I can't do it. All right. Too much thought involved. Well, uh, what section are we going to? Los no, no Pantera. No one knows anymore. Rumors. What's the rumor? Well... Rumor has it. Rumor. You're actually a good source of rumors because some of your rumors make sense and could potentially happen. Yeah, I mean, unlike uh, our good friend Jamaica's who. That is not true. These are more <laughs> like kind of the um, far-fetched rumors. I have a super true rumor this week after your so-called good source one. All right, you go, Splinter. What's your rumor this week? Well, the rumor is that Josh Norman is currently looking for $16 million Damn. a year out of the Carolina He better Panthers. get some strong fucking glasses. That is a, a lot more. But it could be one of those numbers they're asking for in order to, you know, pawn stars bargain it back to the middle. Probably not. Well, if they're already offering him 13 and a half, which you have to imagine they've already offered that it's to him because that's what his franchise tag is. pretty much 14 now. I mean, 
What is an extra $2 million going to do to a kid from Coastal Carolina? I I expect this deal at the end to be somewhere in the range of $14.5 to $15. But $16 million a year. Okay, there are 24 starting quarterbacks in this league that don't make $16 million a year. Is Josh Norman your starting quarterback? No. Are you willing to pay him the same amount that Brock Osweiler is now getting down in Houston to be a starting quarterback. Right. I mean, realistically, I just don't see it being a value for the Carolina Panthers. Well, let's see. But hopefully, like you said, it's just a chip to get back down to a lower number. Yeah. Because at 14 and a half, maybe 15, I like this deal. Yeah. And especially if it's backloaded in case he – Kind of fizzles off. He or, is twenty nine years old. Absolutely, right. he he's an older cornerback. You you can't it took him put four that years kind of to stock. come on. Right, he's in the doghouse for a whole fucking season. Plus twelve. I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited to see Benet again. I, yeah. I think that Benet has a lot of potential to step up and really be that number two, if not a number one corner. I remember his first year, he was. Uh, Big play, Benet, and then the the end uh, the end of uh, last season, he was just that would be a struggling good, a little bit. That'd be a good topic for next week. We do our well, we breakout her. player of the year guess. Okay, yeah, yeah. we'll throw that. I on already there. know mine is for sure, Brenton Burson. <laughs> ow, 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 Brenton Burson. He's the fucking man over JJ Jansen. But anyways, Norm is not going to get it. Even JJ is an established hero, <laughs> he's, sir. He's, he's a but he big, plays dude, like a breakout no, star every call, year. Listen, listen here, JJ is an American treasure. Okay, <laughs> J J Triple J uh, uh, Triple J Apple Pie Triple J as we call him is an American Baseball. treasure, a scholar, and a hero. J. Nothing J. less J. than a hero. Yes, he doesn't get concussions. <laughs> no, he that. gives concussions. That, that, that's why we give him five year deals. Yeah, we, <laughs> like we, do we believe in you, J J. I know you. Well, you guys want to hear my rumor? Let's hear your rumor. This is from a super reliable source. I'm <laughs> okay. serious. It has nothing to do with our earlier rant. That you guys started that one. It wasn't my fault. No, we didn't mean but it. Odell Beckham Jr., the OBJ, as they call him in the Dirty North, <laughs> was spotted in what was that fucking Iowa City? Dubuque. 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 With two U's and a Q, Iowa. Spotted at a gay <laughs> bar named the Pink Whistle. <laughs> He was doing a lot of dancing and a lot of just gay things. And a lot of people were screaming, OBJ. OBJ. I, true story. I don't know. You know, I don't care. Do what but you they, like. That is a true story he just made up. It is a true story. That, that is a true. rumor that we're going to have to figure out. If anyone has a picture of OBJ at the Pink Whistle in Dubuque, Iowa, <laughs> please true. send it to us. Yeah, you please. will win a prize. We will give you a prize. Yeah, we will send you a prize. <laughs> it's a true story, though. I know some people who had to be there. <laughs> oh, That's right. Rumor has it. <laughs> some stuff, some uh, some things, some things you might not be ready to talk about. I know I'm not ready to talk about them. Nobody's really ready. Don't really understand the importance of the draft. That's a fact. I don't understand. If you close the window, we wouldn't have one. Yeah, <laughs> well, that kind of draft. I understand the college draft would require some knowledge of um, isn't the NFL college draft? football. We don't, college doesn't draft. Well, no, the either. NFL draft for the college player. Well, See, this is what I don't understand. <laughs> Let, let's start it off this way. Do you watch the draft? Uh, yes, but it's not a priority. If I have something to do, I'll miss it. Yeah, like, or I, I wouldn't DVR. Or... <laughs> because I get updates whenever, you know, our pick is coming up. Yeah, no, it's boring. I don't watch the draft. I watch the draft religiously. Like, and I don't even know why, because none of us really watch college football. Right. None of us know who, who like, these oh, players are from, like, three years of experience of watching fucking 
Tristan Norwood coming out of North Dakota Central State University. I watched the draft by waiting for Splinter to update me. Yeah, I, I just watch. Uh, it's I think it's interesting to see positionally which teams go where. Uh, that's always been an interest to me. I just care about who we get. Me too. Well, positionally, who do you guys think that we should go after this year? Do you think we should go well, after an question. offensive tackle? Or a defensive end. Or... Yeah, but I heard there are like zero offensive tackles, but there's a ton of fucking great defensive tackles out there. So maybe go for a DT? Well, you know that he's, Gettleman's going to go BPA for sure. Right. So, But I do feel it'll be defensive. I just think so. They, they seem very happy with the offensive line, you know, giving extensions to whoever, and, and they want to keep those guys around. Right. And so I think the probably I would say defensive end would be my guess. I feel like we're weaker there than at DT, so True. I feel he would – Try to get maybe one of those. If I had to guess, if I had to pick a runner up, I might say cornerback or safety, whatever, something in the to secondary. go along with their uh, recent trades or but acquisitions. That's what I but you never know. Rather. What about you, Mister Splint? Well, I, I think you have to shore up the pass rush. I think that we've got Coney and we've got Charles Johnson back, but Charles is starting to fade. He's uh, he's getting up there in age, and mm-hmm. it, it's not a. It's not a indictment on him as a player. It's just that as you get older, look at him. He's too yeah. old. <laughs> he's old. I mean, he's, he's just so old. old. We're just kidding, CJ. Don't you know, punch us. We know you're uh, But we know you have teeth. Even we though have you eat to soup all the time. That mm-hmm. we got to look for that uh, future guy that is going to be on the line for years and years to come. Uh, but another thing that we have been talking about is a need for a cornerback and Eli Apple out of Ohio state university is one of those guys that that a lot of people are talking about. That sounds so made up. Eli Apple. It doesn't sound any more real than captain Munnerlin. Yeah, that sounds like a good cereal. (laughs) I'd eat uh, eat captain Munnerlin. Some of those. Yeah, me too. They they probably have a lot of blue and orange. Right. Like most Eli Apple flavor. Eli just makes me angry because of the mouth breather. That's all you remember. I can't help it. I have a severe hatred for that fuck and his whole family. I hate into all of them. Your hatred for Eli Manning. That's a whole nother day. All the Mannings can go to hell. That is a definitely one for another day. That's a fuck your family for another yes, day. Yes, it is. We should when there's a good family time. Even their dad's a saint. Yeah, fuck him too. <laughs> saint Archie. Anyways, moving on. Stupid mouth breather. Eli Apple is uh, what position? Cornerback. Cornerback. Yeah. Uh, Watch Carlos. Watch car- college football. <laughs> yeah. Courage football. Courage. Courage football. Oh, but at this point last year, were any of us saying that we were going to take a linebacker? No. So we ha- oh, we honestly have no idea. Yeah, who knows? It'll probably be a kicker. I was all confused when we picked up Luke Keekley from Boston College. I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? Mm-hmm. You're like quickly. Only the greatest linebacker ever. <sighs> you know what stood out is that he they uh, he won whatever the college award isn't there like the, a butt kiss award for college. Oh, he called a kick butt award. <laughs> he, got. he got some award yeah. that is awarded the best defensive player. And then I'm like, you know, that's a good idea. Why wouldn't our team do that more often? This player is clearly special. If they won an award in college, let's go after him. You know what I have heard that is kind of a, a dark horse rumor what? is uh, Derek Henry, the running back out of Alabama, the guy that won okay, the Okay, yeah, 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 that guy I know. Dude's, uh, dude is massive. I forget his size, but they had him standing next to Mark Ingram in a picture. That guy made him look like a dwarf. Wow. Like, it, he has to be at least 6'3". Yeah. Like, Maybe 250, 260. He's just Go a fucking mule. Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll probably draft a tight end. Probably. Uh, uh, big it just, uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm thinking uh, maybe we go safety. Maybe uh, maybe we go long term, depending on how the uh, the team feels about Trey. Because that's it. Uh, I'm just saying the one position that I wouldn't expect them to pick. <laughs> Right. Because Quarter, quarterback. Yeah, yeah. They're gonna take a quarterback in the first round. <laughs> We're gonna round. draft a kicker in the first round. They're gonna trade Cam for four or fourth mm-hmm. rounders. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway. It's a Chip Kelly deal right there, if I ever heard one. So Chip- I guess uh, the last point that we have is that uh, earlier this week Panthers owner Jerry Richardson had shoulder surgery and we all just wanna wish him the best. Get well, Jerry. Have a happy Easter, sir. Absolutely. Get well, Jerry. Yeah, man. Keep pounding. Keep pounding. Keep pounding. This 
This is Panthers Pancast.